This is Mission Control, Houston. Less than two weeks into Expedition 34 at the International Space Station, and the crew members spent part of Thursday practicing how to get off of the vehicle in an emergency. But they spent the rest of their day pursuing the science investigations in this uh, unique laboratory environment. Commander Kevin Ford, flight engineers Oleg Nowitzki and Yevgeny Tarelkin kicked off their day with some of their uh, routine exercise sessions as well as science work. For Ford, he set up and activated the in-space experiment in the microgravity sciences glove box. That's an investigation looking into the behavior of fluids that contain ellipsoid-shaped particles that uh, and find out how the fluid behaves when it's exposed to a magnetic field. These fluids can transition into a solid-like state by the reformation of the colloids when they are under this magnetic influence. And scientists are looking into uh, how the fluids behave uh, with an eye toward using them in vibration damping systems that would help buildings or bridges withstand forces like earthquakes. Early in the day, Novitsky downlinked data from several Russian experiments to the Mission Control Center outside Moscow, while Tarelkin took care of daily maintenance of systems on board the Russian side of the station. After the crew members had lunch, all three of them spent a little over 90 minutes in a Soyuz emergency descent drills. They were running through their responses to two emergency situations. The first, uh, a, po a possible fire on board, and then they simulated their response to a, a potential leak on board in which they had to uh, move back through the station, closing some hatches to isolate modules to see whether or not they had, uh, could find the leak. Uh, as they did so, they were moving back toward here, toward the uh, Soyuz vehicle, which is, of course, uh, not only the crew member's way to get to the station, but it also uh, serves as their way to get off of the station, be it in an emergency or at the uh, routine end of their mission. After the two emergency scen uh, scenarios were worked through, the uh, crew members wrapped up their afternoon with daily exercise and tended to some ongoing science investigations. On Friday, Novitsky and Tarelkin are expected to continue their focus on Russian science operations. Kevin Ford has another set of runs with the in-space experiment, as well as some maintenance on the station's water processor assembly. He'll also assist the ground with a base change of the space station's Kennet Arm 2, and will wrap up his day with an educational event with Oklahoma State University.